How's it going? I'm back again on Sandy Bay. So it's now early summer, the last time I did a video it was uh, early spring. Since then uh, not much has happened really, I was just waiting for some fields to be set and um, I did a few you know, manure spreading, animal work, stuff like that. But the main thing that did happen was I bought a new tractor. I bought the Puma Case 200. So I basically got rid of the Ford tractor that I had and I bought this. Instead I need something with more power so we've upgraded. Um, I, had, I had some money from the milk and everything so I've put it into this. I also did some repaint on the fence, went to green instead of white which you can probably just see it there sitting in the shed. Um, yeah so and I also repainted the balers that I had Sorry, I forgot then. Yeah, repainted the balers from red to white and also added it so they can have d different colour wrapping for the foils on the bales. So I'm going with yellow this year. So yeah, looking good. So in today's video, I'm basically going to be making a lot of hay. I'm running low on hay. I've got about 20 bales left now. And also with the dairy herd growing at the, the rate it is and also with my sheep growing, I'm using a lot more hay. Initially, I got field 10 up here to do that, um, which I'm still going to do with, but it's the only field that's not ready to cut. Now, I've got six fields that are ready to cut, so I'll show you in this. I've got this one, that one, 34, 33, 32, and 31. Now, I've mowed all five of them. I've still got to mow 31. I've tedded this one over here because the moisture of the crop was at higher than 20 when I started. However, by the time I finished that, the rest of these weren't, so they didn't need tedding. Um, and I've windrowed this one as well. Um, my next job is to mow this, and then I'm going to go for the windrow on this one, this one, and this one, and so on to that. So I will have six fields to bale off, which hopefully will give me a lot of hay. The conditions right now are perfect. I'm just going to crack on with it because there's a lot of work to do. Like I said, I've cut out a lot of the mowing because I've done that off camera, but... I'll carry on now and speed everything up. This case, really nice, custom sounds. Yeah, for for it's only got one hour, but it's already filthy because of the mowing that it's been doing. Right, so let's crack on. Kind of scared of this 
Right, so I've completed all six fields. They're all mowed up and windrowed and ready to veil as soon as it's dry. Um, what I'll do is I'll do some other odd jobs around the farm and then when as soon as it's dry I'll um, cut back in and we'll start bailing off. Okay so all the grass is ready it's dried enough now to turn into hay. It is actually the next day so hopefully I haven't lost much. It passing midnight I think it's grass deteriorates every night if you leave it out but even though I thought they were perfect drying conditions, the wind was high, the temperature was high, it wasn't good enough um, for it to get done in the day. So, hey ho. But we'll start bailing it off now because we've got six fields to bail, so I'll crack on with it.
skies of a different light Why noise it keeps me up at night I can't help but think back to you Okay, so that's all six fields done, all bailed off, ready just for loading up on a wagon and then putting into the storage area. But I'll do that off camera. So I got a total of 126 bales, which is really good going. As you can see, the fields are pretty much scattered with them all over. As you can see, I don't know if you can make that out, but it's a lot that is. I'm also, we'll do field 10 with hay, but then when these fields grow back before winter, whatever it is, I'll chop up and use as um, round bale silage. So not bad going at all. A lot more than last year, especially when I do field 10 as well. It's a good size field and that'll give me a lot. The other thing I want to show you is I was using... It's the same type of baler that I originally had, but I swapped it out. Um, for a mod that's come up on Mod Hub that just changes, obviously, the texture and the colour of a hay bale. So I don't know if you noticed that. And also, there's a round bale that obviously gives you new textures, but also lets you choose different colours as well for the wrap. So, the bale in the middle here is the bale that's all over the fields. That's the one with the mod. That's the new hay texture on that mod. Uh, this is the season's hay texture. Um, and I just put a straw bale there just to give you a comparison. That's um, straw from seasons as well. So, I don't know what you think, if you prefer it. I mean, I'm started off thinking it's a bit close to the old hay the original vanilla hay but I'm I think I, I think I like it it is it does look good right so I'm gonna leave the video there thanks for watching if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up I appreciate that and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on farming simulator see ya